Hello, my name is Kevin Inkster. I want to show you my new favorite tool, uh, the turbo plane. I'm going to use this to make a, uh, to make a tray out of a, a Jarrah Bull. Um, not only is the turbo plane the perfect freehand trades tool, it's also a great tool for, uh, for doing freehand shaping in, uh, in craft or art type situations such as this. Now what I've done is I've got a burl, it's about uh, one and a half or two inches deep. I'm going to uh, draw in a rough area uh, that I'm going to make the tray and uh, I've got a drill with, with your, where I've set the depth of the drill so that there's about a centimetre from the bottom and I'll drill, drill a series of holes and they'll act as a depth gauge so that I'll know when I've reached the bottom of my tray. All right, I've, I've smoothed out the bottom now. You can see it's pretty flat and that's straight off the tool. You can see these burn marks along here and that's because you can use the tool completely flat right up to the edge and of course on the edge there's no cutting edge so it just runs across that. You can come down vertically um, and you have beautiful control because the, the cutting edge is progressively uh, less as you get to the end. So you can cut down but you can't cut in that direction and so you can see the burn marks where I run along the edge there but getting right down to the bottom where I can run it perfectly flat. Now you can see I can use the tool completely vertical running on the bottom of the, of the tray because this edge of the blade does not cut. So you can see the burn marks on there where I run on it and then I, I can lean it over to the side and trim the sides while I go without damaging the bottom. Of course you've got a burn mark but that can sand out afterwards. Now I've finished doing the inside of the, the tray. You can see I was able to get very flat right on the bottom there. Uh, fairly steep edges and now I'm going to trim this, the outside around. Okay, we've got a, getting it down to the rough shape. You can see I'm trimming the ends here. Um, one thing that uh, you should know really is I never try to get it perfectly symmetrical. Um, I just do it roughly by eye and then when I clean it all up it looks great. And the imperfections show that it's handmade. So uh, one thing I avoid is getting perfectly symmetrical uh, shapes that make it look like it's been done on some kind of a computerized router or something. So just leave it uh, uh, rough shapes um, and then trim it down and sand it up and it'll look, it'll look terrific. So it's nearly done. I'm now going to trim the bottom part here so that you can get your hands underneath it to lift it, to hold it. I'm now going to finish off the shaping using a, a mini grinder with a sanding disc. I like to use a very coarse sanding disc because the mini grinder goes so fast it does a fine finish and you can shape with a coarse sanding disc. So here's the final uh, tray. Um, there's still a little bit more sanding to do and then I'll probably put some oil on it and that'll be the finished piece.